Judge Benitez just struck down California's assault weapons ban. I'm Phil, and this is the Minuteman Moment. Turns out that bans on AR-15s are about as fake as the term assault weapon. According to St. Judge Benitez, the AR-15 bans are unconstitutional. It's a no-brainer if you've ever read the Second Amendment, DC v. Heller, or U.S. v. Miller. And that's the good news today. U.S. District Judge Roger Benitez of San Diego struck down California's unconstitutional weapons ban in a scathing opinion. In his ruling on Miller v. Bonta, Judge Benitez dropped a series of truth bombs, beginning his ruling saying, like the Swiss Army knife, the popular AR-15 rifle is a perfect combination of home defense weapon and homeland defense weapon. Good for both home and battle. The AR-15 is the kind of versatile gun that lies at the intersection of the kinds of firearms protected under Heller and Miller. Yet the state of California makes it a crime to have an AR-15 type rifle. Therefore, this court declares the California statutes to be unconstitutional. He went on to say, Firearms deemed as assault weapons are fairly ordinary, popular, modern rifles. Actually, at one point in the case, California's attorney general cited some professor in an attempt to prove how dangerous assault weapons really are. But Judge Benitez had none of it. The professor opines that modern rifles are used disproportionately in what he calls gun massacres, not crime in general. And he defines a gun massacre as a shooting event resulting in at least six deaths and where at least one assault weapon was discharged. No other expert witness, sociologist, economist, or government agency defines a mass shooting in this way. The definition almost creates a tautology along the lines of assault weapons are used disproportionately in assault weapon events. Benitez is telling these guys to keep their made up definitions, terms, and stats out of his court. Judge Benitez also uses the Heller test, a test that any citizen can understand. It asks whether a law bans a firearm that is commonly owned by law-abiding citizens for lawful purposes. As applied to the California law, the Heller test asks, is a modern rifle commonly owned by law-abiding citizens for a lawful purpose? For the AR-15 type of rifle, the answer is of course yes. The overwhelming majority of citizens who own and keep the popular AR-15 rifle and its many variants do so for lawful purposes, including home defense. Under Heller, that is all they needed. Using the easy to understand Heller test, it's obvious the California assault weapon ban is unconstitutional. Under the Heller test, judicial review can end right there. But next, Judge Benitez uses the unconstitutional intermediate scrutiny test for whether an infringement on the Second Amendment is acceptable. For those of you like me who haven't been to law school, the definition of intermediate scrutiny for the Second Amendment is a compromising interest balancing test that lets judges allow Second Amendment infringements if they really, really want to. But in doing so, he admonishes the Ninth Circuit for not using the simple Heller test on whether the courts should use strict or intermediate scrutiny. So that's a good thing. Benitez always goes back to Heller, but the ruling isn't perfect. Judge Benitez issued a stay on his own order for at least 30 days. That means the ruling is not enforceable and Californians are still subject to the assault weapons ban. And you can bet your last box of nine mil that within those 30 days, the higher courts will take up the government's appeal and extend the stay indefinitely. One more thing before we break, check out our last video. I interviewed a friend of mine who did a deep dive on Dave Chipman's life. The sort of stuff Chipman was trying to hide from the public, if you know what I mean. There's the link right there. And in addition to the GOA channel, you can find all the Minuteman Moment content on the Warrior Poet Society. I'm Phil, and this has been your Minuteman Moment.